Um, so, so I'm here today, of course, to support the the global campaign to save the 12 uh, Hong Kong youths in in prison in China. Um, and I think today was a very significant uh, rally uh, to deliver that message. In terms of the social media campaign, it began um, when uh, I was talking with Joey Su, uh, the young Hong Kong activist, about what we could do. And uh, we came up with this idea to to start a simple would join and uh, really shine a light on on the 12 and alert the, the world to to their plight and i'm i'm very uh, excited by the response i mean uh, thousands of people have have joined in uh, as i said in my speech earlier you know prominent people like uh, greta thunberg um, the former miss world canada anastasia lynn the former presidential candidate in the u.s mitt romney the former leader of the conservative party in duncan smith and many politicians from all parties and many nations. Um, of course, I would like more people to join. So the campaign is still going and we'd love more and more people to take part. But um, as, as Chris Whitehouse said in his speech, if Grandma Wong herself can, can uh, participate in this straight after returning from her own ordeal in China, then, uh, then we all can. And, and people can do it also anonymously as well. They can cover their identity if they need to. Um, but I hope more people will join in. But but I'm excited at the numbers and the people that we've already had involved. Right. So it was sparked off um, with uh, when you talked to uh, Joey. That's right. Right. Yes. Okay. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. It's actually incredible. Yeah. And you write a lot of um, Chinese as well. Yes. Yes. Well, I I do that um, for several reasons. Firstly, I enjoy doing it and I find it uh, quite relaxing and uh, I learn something new each time I do it. But also, I, uh, hopefully it gives people in Hong Kong and Hong Kongers around the world some, some little encouragement. Uh, so um, I'll, keep, I'll keep doing that as much as I can. <laughs> okay, Can you, do you mind telling us how long actually did you practice writing those Chinese, Chinese words? Did you practice for a long time or you're used to it? Yeah, no, I, I practiced it for a long time. So um, I, I, it started when, at the beginning of uh, the lockdown that we had in the UK during the, the pandemic, uh, and I, um, I was talking online with a Hong Kong friend, and um, I, I used to many years ago. I, I learned some uh, Chinese writing, but I learned uh, simplified uh, characters, and, and I learned Mandarin, a li little bit of Mandarin. But I wanted now, because of my work on Hong Kong and my love for Hong Kong, I wanted to to learn to write some traditional characters and 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 some Cantonese phrases. And so during lockdown, I just started. My friend taught me one by one, and. At the beginning, uh, it was definitely, uh, it took time and uh, I had to redo many times because I've made mistakes. But now I, I, it seems that I, I think I've improved a little. Uh, of course, I have a lot more improvement to make, but I think I've improved a little so that when I do it now, usually I either have no mistakes or maybe just one or two small mistakes. So I don't have to redo again and again. But at the beginning, I had to redo many times. <laughs> yeah, it was actually very incredible because I actually find Chinese quite difficult to learn right. sometimes too. Right. Yeah, 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 yeah. So you only learned it after the pandemic. That wasn't too long. That's right. Yeah, yeah it was like March, April time, I oh, think. Oh, right. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> thank you very much. Great. Thank My you. pleasure. Thank, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.